Well, it was an intense search throughout Los Angeles County. Investigators knew who they were looking for, and L.A. County Sheriff's deputies did arrest him today in the city of Bellflower. LAPD detectives drove down there personally to identify him and take him into custody. Here is exclusive video from Air 7 as the suspect, 29-year-old Eric Holder, is picked up by LAPD detectives at the sheriff's station in Lakewood. He was placed in an unmarked vehicle. The department says it received help from the community to track him down. Police say Holder was outside Nipsey Hustle's store on Sunday talking with Hustle and then left. He came back a short time later and started shooting. Hustle was hit in the head and the chest. Armed with a handgun. This senseless murder, this expression of violence, represents that this is a man who is a, of a substantial risk to public safety. Chief Michael Moore says Holder and Hustle knew each other, but would not say what the discussion was about or the motive that led to the shooting. Police believe Holder is a gang member, but this was not a gang shooting. It was a personal issue. Holder then got into the passenger side of a vehicle that was in the alley and drove off. Last night, a stampede broke out at the memorial where hundreds of fans had turned out. There was confusion after someone pulled out a weapon and another person tried to disarm him. And in that struggle, that caused obviously panic in that group uh, of, of hundreds of people and a cascade or stampede, if you will, of people expecting are hoping to, to leave and, and not suffer any injury. Today at a news conference, the mayor of Los Angeles praised Hustle for his work to end gang violence. He was somebody who was a gifted and brilliant artist, an entrepreneur who found global success, who was working closely with this city to help save lives and transform lives even as he was doing that for himself. Now, police say after the shooting, Holder left the scene in a car with a woman. It was a 2016 Chevrolet Cruze. They say that person and anyone who might have helped them could also be charged in the murder. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.